What do you know anyway? Well, let's find out. Let's take some fun quizzes and see what we know. Stay tuned. All right, we're going to try taking this boredom quiz. Why not, guys? I know we're all thinking it. We are bored. All right, it says I'm really bored, so let's see if I know these random facts. All right, sounds like a plan. Let's give it a try. Hopefully you guys can see this, okay? All right, it says, number one, Beauty and the Beast was written to... Disney felt like it. Show what happens if you marry beasts. Help girls accept mar arranged marriage. Show that looks don't matter. I would have to say show that looks don't matter, right? Let's see if we can do this. All right, number two. Flamin' Hot Cheetos were written by an Instagram model, a snack maker, duh, teacher, janitor, a wannabe lion. Well, I am going to say a snack maker. All right, let's go on to the next one. These are random. Whew. Okay, pineapples were named after a guy named Pine Apple. Pine cones. Apples. You know, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go with pine cones because it kind of looks like a pine cone. So maybe. Hmm. Number four. Victorians once used what to predict the weather? A dog. A leech. You. You. A groundhog. Oh dear. I. I do. I mean, we all, you know, have Groundhog Day or whatever, but I don't think that's what we're talking about here. Uh, I'm gonna guess a dog. I have no idea about that one. All right, number five. Ronald Dahl was not only an author, but a spy, politician. Trash truck driver, teacher. You know, I don't know this one. I'm going to have to guess spy. Alrighty. Number six. A what saved a man who jumped off a bridge trying to kill himself? Whale. Fish. Bird. Dog. Sea lion. Hmm. If memory serves, this one is a dog. Number seven. Bottled water expiration dates are for what? The bottle. The water. The person drinking it. The label. I would venture to guess that it's the water. I mean, it could be the bottle, but I'm going to go with the water. Those bottles don't go anywhere fast. All right, number eight. The store Sears used to secretly sell what? And it goes, what is Sears? Me. Pets. Houses. I don't know. So I'm going to say houses. All right. Nine, the foil on top of medicine bottles exists because of poison, child protection, overdose, someone stealing. Well, we all know anybody was here. Whoops, that's not it. <laughs> For the Tylenol epidemic back in the 80s where people had poisoned uh, the Tylenol, we would have to say that that is what it is. And why does this keep moving? Uh Oh, this thing keeps changing here. Hold on, let me go back and fix it. All right, we're going to go on to number 10 now that we got our answers in there. It says, uh, did you enjoy this quiz? Uh, yes, kind of, no, I hated it. I'm going to just go kind of. Let's see how we did. Boredom quiz. Wow, you need to do some more research. You currently answered four of ten questions. On average, 185 of users who took the quiz gave 2.85 right answers. Yikes. So, so what did I get wrong is the question, huh? Guess it's not going to tell me. Interesting. 
All right, so this time we're gonna try something different. We're gonna go with a true false question. So this just says random, true, and false. And uh, yeah, we're gonna give that a try, why not? That way we can gauge something a little different. And uh, this particular website, by the way, guys, where we're getting all these quizzes, and there's a lot of them, uh, is called allthetests.com. All the tests with an S dot com. All right, so let's go ahead and take a random true and false question quiz. Let's do it. All right, it says, it says, can you get them all right? Take the quiz and find out. All right, dogs have four legs. Well, that would be true. <laughs> uh, the time difference between South Australia and Western Australia is an hour. Hmm. I don't know if they're all in the same time zone, but I think that it might be false. Maybe. Number three, there is a word which rhymes with orange. I'm going to go that's false. I've never heard it. And we've all probably tried that game at one point or another. Number four, rats are smarter than dogs. Ooh, that's a toughie. On average, I wouldn't think that'd be the case, but it seems like a dog's brain is bigger, so I'm going to say that's false. Number five, the longest person has ever lived for was 118 years. Oh, I think that is probably false. I feel like there's people alive right now that are older than that. So we'll give it a try. We're probably failing miserably, but we're going to give it our all. Okay, number six. In Australia, July is in winter. I believe that's true. I believe that that is true. Okay. All right. So, number seven. USB stands for Universal Serial Bus. I don't believe it does. Um, whoa, where'd my thing go? There it is. USB stands for Universal Serial Bus. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So you know what? I'm going to go on the gut and say true. I don't know. Serial seems right. Universal seems right. I don't know about bus. Number eight. A cat has nine lives. Well, I think that's an old wives tale. So we'll go with false on this one. I don't think they really do. I've had a few cats that I've lost along the way that would disagree. All right. Number nine. People can be born with teeth missing. Well, that would be true because we all have our teeth missing. Nobody has teeth usually. So I'm going to say that's true. That's a very weird question. All right, number 10, the, or statement, I should say. What well, was question? Number 10, the tallest recorded person was 223.73 centimeters tall. Okay, so there's 35 centimeters in a foot. Hmm... Oh, that's definitely wrong. It says like uh, a little over six foot. So I would say that this is false. All right. Let's see how we did. Oh my gosh. You guys aren't going to believe that. Look at this. Random true and false questions. Wow. Well done. Perfect score. You've correctly answered 10 of 10 questions. On average, 5,968 of users who took the quiz Gave 5.52 right answers. Woohoo! Go allthetests.com and you'll be able to take a variety of quizzes on this particular site. Now, this is not sponsored, it was just one of the sites that I found that had some fun stuff going on. And so I thought I'd show you a few of those so you'd have something to pass your time. Okay, so we thought we'd switch it up and do one more quiz here. And this is on a site called 365tests.com. And uh, they have different ones. Uh, I don't know if you can see them at the top here, but they have work, personality, style. Let me show you here. Work, personality, style, money, friends, and food. And I have chosen to do food. Shocking, I know. I think we're going to do, are you really what you eat? Let's see how we do here. It says, uh, you've heard the expression, you are what you eat. It turns out that really is true. The foods that you eat affect more than your health. They also impact your personality. Take this quiz to find out what your favorite food 
foods say about you. Your choices show your personality. You don't need to take a long personality test to determine who you are on the inside. Your food choices give a strong indication of who you are. Maybe you are unpredictable, bubbly, or something in between. Once you take the test, you will have more insight into the personality, into your personality. I can't read, apparently. You won't just learn about your personality type either. You will find out why people are drawn to you and get some tips on what you should avoid. After all, each personality type has some downfalls, and this test will help you learn how to avoid them so you don't lose friends in the long run. Let's just start it. Okay, on a daily basis... You are most likely to drink tea with infused jasmine and vanilla, hot chocolate with whipped cream and marshmallows, classic Coca-Cola, water. Me personally, it would be water. Now, mind you, I do put an enhancer in it, but it's uh, sugar-free. So I'm going to go with water. Let's go to the next question. It's your birthday. You sure hope your cake is... Ooh, this is good. Triple dark chocolate fudge, red velvet with buttercream frosting, angel food cake, store-bought ice cream cake. Ooh, that's tough. I love me some chocolate. I like these ice cream cakes too. Hmm. I'm going to go with chocolate though. I'm a chocolate freak. Next question. In your opinion, blank has the best pizza in America. Boston, Philadelphia, San Diego, and New York. Mm. All right. So out of all four of these, I've only been to one place on this list, and that is New York. And I'm going to pick New York. Next question. Blank cookies accompany milk perfectly. Oh, this is tough, you guys. Chocolate chip, ginger snap, oatmeal raisin, Oreo. Ooh, they're all so good with milk. My favorite, though, has to be Ginger Snap. I know. You're probably all screaming Oreo from, from home. I know. All right, next. Blank is are your favorite thing to cook up on the grill. Burgers, shish kebabs, hot dogs, shrimp. Have to go with hot dogs. Oh, they're so good on the grill, man. We just did that last night. Love them. Okay, blank is your favorite breakfast cereal. Oh, goodness. This one I already know. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Frosted Mini Wheats, Honey Nut Cheerios, or Raisin Bran. Oh, I definitely would pick out of this list. I mean, I do like Cinnamon Toast Crunch too, but I'd say Frosted Mini Wheats are one of my favorites. Let's go to the next one. You eat your primary meals blank in front of the, or not blank, just in front of the TV, outside on the porch, at the dinner table, out at restaurants. Mine are almost always consumed in front of the TV, except lately we've been doing it outside on the porch. But let's go with what we've been doing the most. All right, next question. Your date wants to take you on a semi-fancy or to a semi-fancy restaurant and ask for ideas. You suggest Outback Steakhouse, Red Lobster, Chili's, Olive Garden, Ooh, that's tough. I love me some Red Lobster. We had some earlier today, actually. Uh, I Outback's okay. I would have to say Red Lobster. Out of the following, you would choose blank for a casual meal with friends. Applebee's, Friendly's, Red Robin, Chipotle. Well, if I'm going out with friends and that's not a date or anything like that, I would probably say Applebee's. They have a lot of options, so you can all choose different stuff. And, yeah, friendlies aren't very common here. And there's not that many Red Robins either, although they're they're growing. Uh, there's not many. And Chipotle, to me, doesn't seem like, hey, let's get a bunch of friends and go to Chipotle. Maybe you guys do that, but I, I have never done that. All right, so we're on question 10. Time for some fun. When out at the bar, you usually go for margaritas, beer, Vodka, wine, ah, uh, I would say more often than not it's beer, but occasionally margaritas. Ooh, it said usually, so let's go with what I would usually do, which is beer. All right, question 11. You flip on the TV to your favorite mouth-watering show, Cake Boss, Top Chef, 
Bizarre foods. Man versus food. Yeah, all day, man versus food. I don't know why the food challenge thing gets me, but I love it. All right. Your favorite fast food place is Subway, Panda Express, McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts. All right, so out of this limited list, I would have to choose McDonald's. Those fries, though. All right. Let's go on to question 13. Mmm, time to make a sandwich. You go for grilled cheese, buffalo chicken with avocado, spelled incorrectly. Oh, they didn't spell that right. Uh, BLT, mozzarella and portobino, or portobello panini. Ooh, ooh, this is tough, you guys. All of these are wonderful. But I, on a, on with all of these, the only ones of these sandwiches I've ever made is a grilled cheese or a BLT. But... I'm adventurous. I would probably go with the buffalo chicken and avocado, but I'd spell mine correctly. Ha ha ha. All right, next question. 14. All right, if you could choose one cheese to live off of for the rest of your life, you'd choose. Oh man, this is tough, you guys. Goat, cheddar, mozzarella, American. Ooh, that's tough. Mozzarella and cheddar. Those are my two toughies there. I would probably have to go with cheddar. If I could only have one, yeah. All right, so when making quick and easy lunch, you usually make mac and cheese, clam chowder, pasta, frozen pizza. Wow, I literally don't make any of those things. Um, huh. I would say the one that I might have gone to in the past before I did keto would probably be pasta. I don't really eat any of those things much these days. Your mother always tells you to eat your veggies, and you certainly don't mind eating. <laughs> That's true. Uh, artichoke, lettuce, tomatoes, corn on the cob. Ooh, uh, let's see. I do like artichokes, but I only like them marinated and like on my salad. So, goodness. Probably... Out of this list, corn on the cob. All right, so now we're at 17. For a mid-afternoon snack at work, you opt for fruit salad, quesadillas with guacamole, cookies, pretzels. Hmm, I would probably say pretzels. All right, question 18. Usually your food cravings kick in in the afternoon after a long day, late at night before you go to bed, Midday while you're busy with life. In the morning you wake up ready to eat. I would say more. Mine is usually late at night before I go to bed. But I am up late. So that could be why. Alright. So as far as global cuisine. Blank is the best. Italian. Thai. Chinese. French. I'm going to have to go with Italian ladies and gentlemen. I love me some Italian food. Ever since I've gone to Italy. Uh, pasta carbonara is one of my favorites. Oh. All right, and for a side, you choose veggie stick chips, Lay's salted chips, sun chips, or Doritos. Hmm, I would probably pick the sun chips. That's what I used to pick all the time. All right, so generally, you go for the blank tasting foods. Spicy, neutral, sweet, or salty. I would say spicy all day. I love me some spice. All right, so question 22. To cool off, you pick out blank ice cream at the beach. Chocolate peanut butter. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Chocolate peanut butter. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Vanilla. Pumpkin spice. Huh, that's an interesting ice cream. Uh, personally would probably go with chocolate peanut butter. That's my favorite mix of things. Whoops. Okay. Question 23. You usually eat to when you're bored, stay healthy, try new things to experience the flavors. Wow, that's tough because some of these are just true. Um, I do typically eat when I'm bored. But I also try to stay healthy. Right now, we're get, since we're all pretty much in the board range, I'm going to go with board. All right. If you were a fruit, you'd be a kiwi, banana, 
peach, a pear. Oh, I would be a pear. Not only do I am I shaped like a pear, but I love pears. Oh my gosh. All right, to start the day off blank, we'll get your juices flowing. Toast with butter and jam, cocoa puffs or sugary cereal, pancakes with Vermont's finest maple syrup, Hard-boiled eggs with Belgian waffles. I am a toast and butter and jam person. Although, typically, I like my toast with uh, sour cream sometimes. I don't know. I'm weird. So, uh, just butter or butter and sour cream or sometimes peanut butter. It just depends on my mood. But, yeah, jam would be good, too. All right, guys. Last question. When it's time to indulge, reach for Linzer Raspberry Truffles, Hershey's Chocolate Bars, Twix bars, Milky Way bars. Well, this is really tough, you guys, because the ones I really like aren't on here. But the closest to it would probably be Hershey's chocolate bars. All right. That should be everything. Oh, look at this. Now, you guys hear me on here all the time. Some of you actually know me out there, I'm sure. My result says bubbly. You are sugary and sweet, just like the things you eat. Everyone sees you as kind. Bubbly person, lots of friends. You are a social butterfly. You are the kind of person that people connect to instantly, and they want to be around you due to your positive energy and laughter. However, be careful of coming across as too fake. Someone or everyone has a sour side to that sweetness, and you tend to let yours out once you get to know a person. Ooh, I would say it's almost spot on except for that last thing about the sour side. Although occasionally that can happen, I suppose. This is pretty amazing though, so if you guys are looking to take any quizzes or something to pass your time, here's another great site, 365tests.com, and they do have a variety of different types of quizzes. So if you want to learn more about your own personality, this could be for you. All right, guys, thanks for being with me while we did these quizzes and surveys. I hope that you find them fun and that you get out there and check them out. Other than that, this is Amanda signing out. Peace. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with all your friends. And hit that bell so you know when we have a new video.